Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Tropical Habs back here today for a brand new YouTube video. So today we're here to talk about the Montreal Canadiens. And the Montreal Canadiens have been terrible over the last couple of games. And my question right now is, should we embrace the tank? I mean, I've been saying it all season long so far. I'm not all in for a tank that I was optimistic uh, I was trying to be as positive as I could, uh, trying to to embrace like more the de the de de development instead of the tanking. But at the moment, I'm just like, you know what? Mate Saint Louis playing the vets instead of the young guys. Uh, there's no development happening whatsoever with your eyes of Kofsky, at least for what we see. Of Kofsky looks frustrated. So Kofsky looks a bit. Uh, out of confidence because he's getting benched every time he does something wrong. Um, he's playing scared to do some mistakes and lose his highs time. So at the moment, I'm just like, all right, we might just like hope for the Canadians to lose, hope for the Panthers to lose, and just try to get Connor Bedal. And I've watched Connor Bedal in the pre-tournament games for for Team Canada, and the guy has even gotten better since this summer's tournament uh, in August. And yeah, at the end of August, man, it's kind of crazy how, um, how better he is. He's just dominant. Like his wrist shot is something else. He has the wrist shot of, of Austin Matthews. He has the passing ability of a Connor McDavid. He has the hands of, of a Patrick Kane. That guy is going to be something else. And at the moment right now, I'm just like, all right, I, I can I can see him now in a Habs jersey. Like it would it would be something else. Like we we never had any any, any players like a Connor Bedal, like a Connor McDavid, even in the past. Like we got a lot of legends, but like we never had a player that talented, like pure talented. And it would be crazy to see Connor Bedal getting drafted by the Canadians. Um, could you imagine Bedal? Caulfield, Suzuki, Slavkovsky, Kirby, Doc, all in your top six. That would be something else. And by the fact that we could end up with two top 10 picks in the, in the next draft is actually, again, fucking crazy because the Panthers are in a tank situation right now as well. And we have the unprotected first round pick of the Panthers. So we might get two shots at getting um, Connor Bedard at winning the lottery. So, yeah, my question is right now, do you think that it's high likely that Connor Bedal ends up with the Canadians or do you think that the Canadians won't be that bad? Do you think that the Canadians um, won't finish uh, at the bottom? Do you think that the Panthers will come back and, and make the playoffs? Um, do you think that it's more, more likely for us not to get Connor Bedal? Or do you think that it's more likely for the Habs to get Connor Bedal? Because at the moment, I I have no clue. Like, it's rare that I have no idea on, on what's going to happen. But at the moment, I don't know. The Canadians have been bad since Sean Monaghan got injured. Sean Monaghan will come back at some point. Will they start and get where they were when he, he was injured? Will they get back to that, to that form? I have no clue. But if they continue to play like you've been doing over the last couple of games, they are definitely going to go downhill in the, leader, the leaderboard. And at this point, I'm just like, all right, I might enjoy the tank. I might just wish for the best because I'm a big fan of Adam Fantilli as well. So if we end up not getting Connor Bedal, but we end up with the second or third overall pick, uh, I would be down to see Adam Fantilli coming in Montreal. Um, same thing for Leo Carlson. Same thing for Brandon Yeager. Same thing for Dolibor Dvorsky. There's a lot of good centermen in that draft that will become franchise centermen, first line centermen. So. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely hoping for the best. And yeah, I, I'm starting to go up on the Connor Bedal bandwagon. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm not going to lie. This guy's something else. And he might even become better than, than Connor McDavid because he has a better shot and he has everything that Connor McDavid has. He's just he's just a Connor McDavid with the Austin Matthews shot. This guy is crazy, man. This guy is going to be something else. And I predict that Connor Bedal is going to get 100 points in his rookie season, man. He's that type of guy. He's that type of guy. And I'm not in the I'm not in the fuck the tank team anymore. I'm in the tank team. So yeah, I wanted to let you guys know about that. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. 
Uh, that was just a short video to talk about Connor Bedard and what my position is at the moment for uh, the Connor Bedard tank. So yeah, it's either tank for Bedard or play Sealy for Fantilly. But yeah, if it's going to be like that, if it's going to be let's bench our young guys to to play the vets. I just hope that they're going to finish last and be lucky at the lottery to get a top three pick. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like I said, have a nice Christmas Eve. Have a nice Christmas tomorrow. I'll st I'm still going to be posting videos tomorrow for Christmas. There's going to be a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. It's been your boy Tropical Habs. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.